In our decimal and percent course, the students are given problems that look like this one. Simple combination of operations, which involves a decimal, a fraction, a percent, a combination of decimal, percent, and fraction. And the secret to solving these is simply convert all three to be the same. Convert all three to be decimal, or all three to be percent, or all three to be fraction. Which should you choose? Well, if the question doesn't specify what they should be converted into, then you get to choose your favorite. Let's start by converting this expression so that it's all fraction. The middle term is already a fraction, 1 20th. So that is carried down. 0.45, if we want to convert that to a fraction, we know that there are two digits after the decimal. So I can write 45 over 100. Now we have a fraction and a fraction. 35%, all percents can be written as a fraction over 100. 35 over 100. But we want to have a common denominator because we're adding fractions now. Since two of them are already over 100, I choose to convert 1 20th so that it is over 100 as well. To turn a 20 into 100, you have to multiply it by a 5. So we also have to multiply the 1 in the numerator by 5. We end up with 45 over 100 plus 1 times 5 is 5 over 20 times 5 is 100 plus 35 over 100. Now we can combine them simply. 45 plus 5 is 50, plus 35 is 85. Our answer is 85 over 100. This can be reduced, however. 85 and 100 have a common factor of 5. I divide both top and bottom by 5, and I get 17 over 20 as my answer. Here's the same example, but this time I'm going to convert all three into decimal form. 0 0.45 is already in decimal form, so I leave it that way. 1 divided by 20, done with long division or in my calculator, will give 0 0.05. 35%, we know there's a decimal here. 35% becomes 0 0.35. 0 0.45 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.35 is equal to 0 0.85. And 0 0.85 is equivalent to the fraction we got here, 17 over 20. What if we want to convert everything into a percentage? 0.45 is equal to 45%. 1 divided by 20 is equal to 0 0.05, as we saw in the last example, plus 35%. To convert 0 0.05, to a percentage, we move the decimal two places to the right, which is the same thing we did here. So 45% is our first term. This becomes 5%, and this is still 35%. Now that they're all percent, we can add them. 45 plus 5 is 50, plus 35 is 85. 85% is our answer. All three answers are equivalent. 85% is equivalent to the decimal 0.85, which is equivalent to the fraction 17 over 20. So to sum up, when you're given a mixture of decimal fraction percent in an operation, you convert all of them so that they're your favorite. Whether your favorite is decimal, fraction, or percent, convert them all so that they're the same, and then combine them. If you do it with fractions, remember to reduce your answer to lowest terms.